Return to Dunblane is an emotionally very challenging documentary to watch, but it's completely worth it. And just as a documentary itself, it is so well put together and so well presented that it's a joy to watch. But it's also very raw and emotional. And there are things here that I personally had never seen um, with regards to Dunblane. And I have to say it is brilliant. For the most part, there's no real mention of the killer. Just to recap very quickly, if you're unaware of Dunblane, it's a Dunblane shooting where an entire class of primary one children, ages five and six, were gunned down. And so was their teacher. And this was in 1996. And Lorraine Kelly goes to talk to family members of the young children who died. And she also recaps on her own experiences of the time, which I'll talk about in a moment. But this is not focusing on the killer. And that's quite rare because I've seen several documentaries about Dunblane. Um, but for the most part, they're focusing on the, the killer. And his his mental state, but this is this is purely about the children, and I think that's brilliant. And when Lorraine Kelly talks to the parents of these children, first of all, I could not think of a better person to present this documentary than Lorraine Kelly. She is warm, she is heartfelt, she is one of the few very genuine people in this world as I believe and the way she talks to people is just so warm and affectionate and you can tell she genuinely cares but the other reason why she is involved in this is because she was actually reporting on the story at Dunblane when it happened or just after it happened and there's actually a brief news clip of her her doing that in the 90s So she has this very strong emotional connection with this story. She was at Dunblane, you know, the day it happened. She's been friends with a couple of the parents ever since then. And you can tell she's very much emotionally invested in this. And while she was not directly affected, it has directly emotionally affected her. And that comes across. And that just gives us an extra dimension. It's not just a random person presenting this it's not somebody who's maybe a forensic psychologist but who has no connection to the case Lorraine Kelly is very much she's very much been part of the emotional circuit since the beginning the show utilizes some footage from the time um I'd seen kind of some footage but not much this one shows a lot of parents and grandparents crying at the school gates when they don't know you know which class has been affected they don't know which children has been affected and kind of seen that footage at the time I can't imagine you know I was four years old I have no no memory of this happening at the time and I can't imagine what it would have been like to turn on the news and hear about this shooting a lot of the parents um you know we find out how some of them found out you know, they turned on the radio and they found out they were at work and somebody mentioned it. And I just cannot imagine what that feels like to find out that there's been a school shooting at your child's school and we hear from the parents. And it's obvious that, you know, 25 years on, it still affects people. Of course it does. There's this, I don't want to spoil too much about what's kind of revealed in the interviews and what's said because it's part of the emotional journey. But there was one mother who particularly broke my heart because she she was basically seconds away from not sending her child to school that day. Um, but you know she made a last minute decision to send her child to school, and that you know that last minute decision kind of cost the child her life but she should obviously she should not blame herself of course she shouldn't but she does and she's carried this guilt and it just shows that it's been 25 years but the the scarring and the pain doesn't go away from something like this that's an entire class of children and their fantastic teacher who clearly did everything she could to save the children right until the end 
if you don't know anything about the Dunblain Massacre, this is 100% a fantastic documentary to watch. It covers everything sensitively. It makes it all about the children because of those and the teacher because they are the important ones not the killer I haven't even mentioned his name in this because it's not about him these poor children lost their lives this documentary is fantastic and is a beautiful tribute to them I I held it together until there's um I don't want to spoil it but there is a we get to see a couple of the headstones, and one of the headstones um, had a poem on it, and it's the most poignant poem ever. And um, I am now currently welling up. Um, it's about being six, and when you when you um, you get to that bit, you'll know which bit it is. And it's just at that point, it just destroyed me. Um, so it is very powerful. It's one of the most beautifully presented single episodes I've ever seen Lorraine Kelly I say Lorraine Kelly is a perfect choice for this I don't think she would have been a choice I think the documentary probably would have been built around her rather than them hiring somebody random to host this it's perfect it's heartbreaking it's difficult but it's completely worth it